Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. So in today's quick video, I just want to share with you what my favorite feature is of the Z Fold 5 compared to all the previous foldables that we've had. So let me grab the Z Fold 4 here. All right, so here we go. We're going to create a note real quick. All right, and as I start writing here, now you'll notice mine doesn't write right here because my digitizer layer doesn't work in this section. We already did a video on that. But as I write here, what I notice on the Fold 4 and all previous foldables is when you go into this crease area, it feels like you're diving into a flipping ravine and coming back out of it. Like I go in here and it's like I'm in shallow waters. Now I'm diving deep and I'm coming back out. The same holds true when you're in landscape mode. So if I go in landscape right here and I'm typing a note along or writing a note, I should say, hello, and I'm on that crease, you just feel this major, major indentation from the crease. Let's go over to the Fold 5. All right, we're going to go ahead and create a new note. There we go. Create a note. I'll start writing here. Hello. How are you? Oh my goodness. This is it. This is my favorite feature of the Fold 5. When you're sitting here with the S Pen, and you're going along because this device is awesome for taking notes on. Dare I say it's one of the best devices, period, that you can take notes on. And you're going along here, you don't feel the crease anymore. Like, I don't feel it hardly at all. You just feel the slightest little indentation as compared to this big, deep groove inside the Fold 4 and all the previous foldables. And, you know, don't take my word for it. Go try it out. Try it out if you, if you have the opportunity to do so. If you can get your hands on a 4 and then the Fold 5, you will instantly notice a difference in the S Pen experience. All right, that's all I got. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. Always appreciate your time. And I will try to get a comparison video of the Fold 4 compared to the Fold 5 out before I have to send this in. I've got three more days left with Samsung to get this device back. So hope you're all having a fantastic day. And as always, Thanks for watching.